guys, it's Kristen and we are at the New York International Children's Film Festival for the premiere of season two of Netflix's Hilda. We got a chance to see two episodes of the show which is returning fall 2020 and I got to interview the director Andy Coyle about what is coming next for Hilda. Can't wait for you guys to check it out. Here you go. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about Hilda season two. Um, you know, this show, I feel like it has stunning art. Um, it has a really great family and friendship dynamic. There's thrilling adventures. Um, and I think that's what made people really love the first season of Hilda. So what is that like knowing like how much people love the show leading into the second season? It's intimidating a little bit. I mean, it's, it's such a stark contrast from how we sort of presented the first season where I think for the most part, it was relatively unknown. Like a lot of people came to it um, without any expectations, without any preconceived notions about what the show was going to be. I think they sort of just experienced it nice and fresh and cool. And uh, the reaction was, was sort of a surprise, like, oh, wow, that's really cool. That's nice. I like that. And I think this time uh, we're going into it with a certain amount of expectations, right? So it's a little bit of a different game where I think people have, they have certain things they like about the show and they want to see about the show and we got to sort of give them what they want and what they need to satisfy them without necessarily uh, just repeating ourselves over and over again. Yeah, like kind of taking the story that exists and expanding it even bigger. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, I think, the the idea of season two is to say, it's more. It's bigger. The scope has gotten a little bigger. And also, it's been a little bit of time, too, has passed in terms of between the first and second seasons for the show. And we wanted to sort of reflect that in the tone of the material as well, where we said, um, these kids are a little bit older. Like, when you're, if, if you're nine years old and the first season of Hilda comes out, when the second season of Hilda comes out, you're 11. You know, like there's, there's a big difference in um, your, the things you're into at that age. Um, and I think that we were very aware of that when we went into crafting the second season. So we really wanted to make sure that the show grew with the audience. Absolutely. And what I think is so great about this show is that while it is for, you know, a young audience, I feel like it also is really family friendly. And like, I personally really love the messages of, of how Hilda interacts with her mom. And I think in, in a story like this, you know, you might see that the mom doesn't believe the daughter when all these crazy things are going on, but her mom is really involved in everything and, you know, really um, supports her, which I think is a really great message. Yeah. And I think um, she's also a real character too, which is, which is something we set out to do in the show to sort of make sure she didn't come across as like this authoritarian um, parental figure that was there to discipline um, or to be like the wet blanket on the adventures, that she's a real person and that you sort of, uh, you can see yourself, even if you're a kid, in her character and what she goes through and the things that she thinks and feels and that you understand her position on things, that she isn't just like this detached um block in the road uh, for Hilda to have fun. She's, she's a big part of her life and, and Hilda loves her mom and she loves Hilda. So it's a very dynamic relationship that we're trying to play between the two of them. And it's a huge part of um, our story for season two. So what can you tell us about this new season? Uh, I can tell you that it is very much a growth of the sort of things that we touched on in season one. Um, we revisit a couple of ideas that we introduced in season one that we didn't necessarily uh, pay off. Um, and we also introduce a whole bunch of new concepts and, and expand the world to a level that uh, we didn't get into in season one that I think people will really be into. The lore is very deep this season and the characters are really tested this season. And uh, I really think that uh, when you get to the end of the season, uh, you will look back and say, oh my God, this journey was so rewarding in terms of just like the comedy is hilarious. The horror is scary. The action is like thrilling. 
There's even a little romance in there. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, like there's a whole bunch of really cool, fun flavors that we play with the show that we just um, wanted to make sure it wasn't just, oh, let's do the same episodes, the same beats over and over again. We want to stretch it a little bit. And I hope the audience is really um, willing to come along for that ride and enjoy it. Well, I'm very, very excited now. Um, I was already excited, but now I'm more excited. Um, but uh, so I'm curious, like as someone who loves the, the graphic novels, you know, there I feel like there's a little bit of like a, a Game of Thrones going on here where like there were certain books up to a point, right? And now there nece aren't necessarily enough books for the season. So do you guys kind of go off and do your own things? Or I don't know if you spoke with... Uh, the author and kind of work together to create the rest of the story or how that yes. goes? Yeah. Luke is a huge part of the show. And, um, I think we knew going into the second season that like, okay, this is where we are in terms of the, the stories for the book series. Um, the show and the books are two sort of separate continuities. They're not exact, um, adaptations of each other. They're sort of different universes, but the book is, is our blueprint for like what we want to do with the story. We just kind of go at it from a little bit of a different direction. And I think that um, that will become clear when, when you watch the second season, you'll understand what's going on. Okay, cool. Um, and now I'm just really curious about like, what goes into being a director of an animated show? I don't know if you can tell us a little bit about that process. Well, it's a very complicated process because the animation is um, a very deliberate form of cinema where um, when you're doing live action direction, you're sort of uh, capturing life. You know, you're, you're capturing these sort of coincidences and accidents that, that work well and you can contrive as much as you can, but on some level, um, you're not in control of everything. In the animation, there's nothing that exists. You create everything from scratch. So it's a very long and, and complicated process of, of being imaginative and, and creative and trying to sort of like, even things in terms of like um, what a character looks like, what they're wearing, all of these things aren't real clothes that you can go down to the, to the store and buy and, and put in your wardrobe for the characters. You have to create everything, every speck of dust, every giant mountain um, is is created by a team of artists that that really all work as this um, very cohesive unit to try and uh, make something that feels like uh, a consistency to it you know what I mean like because the world of Hilda is a very uh, consistent world it's not uh, you know in, in a lot of sort of classic cartoons there's sort of this methodology of saying like oh your backgrounds are going to be very like painterly and textured and rendered and then your characters are on top of those with like a simpler cell look or a flat color look um and in hilda everything feels like cohesive and the same and that's intentional we're trying to craft like a world that we can tell stories in and so the stakes feel grounded in some way it's 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 a long process, and as a director, you have to sort of oversee all of it. You just have to sort of try to guide and shepherd this this immense team of people towards the right goal, and that hopefully, uh, when you get to the end of the day, you have something that feels like it was intentional and not like it was uh, out of control and just random stuff happening. It's it's I mean, it's very hard to describe because it's if if you don't do animation, um, the scope of work is, is hard to imagine. Drawing one frame of animation which lasts one twenty-fourth of a second. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's intense, but I think, I hope when everybody sees like the final product, um, the weight that we've had to endure for this second season will be worth it. I think the craftsmanship that's on display is really rewarding and impressive and will be very entertaining. Well, I cannot wait. This sounds amazing. And it sounds like, you know, uh, the type of job where, you know, you're creating this world. And I think everyone that is a Hilda fan sees all of the work that goes into it. Like they can tell just based off of how incredible the story is, um, how much work goes into what you guys are doing. So congratulations. Um, is there anything that you can share about, you know, where you guys see Hilda going in the future? Uh, well, I can say that the story isn't finished. That's all I can say right now. Okay. 
All right, so that means we're going to need a season three. We got a we got a petition for that already. You know, we haven't even gotten season two out yet, but we're already petitioning for season three. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on Hilda season two. Thank you so much. If you like this one, make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.